Hello Alex, so this is how you make this truck wheel. Um, looking at this, because of the way this is designed, um, if you look over here, it has an angle and they didn't give you the angle. They only gave you this dimension 16. So you are going to make this with the revolve method. So to start, just click new part. Okay and um, go to the units if you your unit is not in millimeters change it to millimeters and I always change my image quality it doesn't really matter you don't have to change it but I always like changing mine so on the right plane you want to draw this feature first you see this feature that looks like a, a T that's what you want to draw so on the right plane um, draw a sketch and let me move it over here so what you want to do is, uh, this is the way I'll do it. Draw a midpoint line over here, something like that, and draw another line going up, something like that. So you have those two lines, and make those two lines a construction line. <laughs> Good. So now we want to start drawing our part, and the first thing we are going to do is draw a line another line over here so the first line this two line we drew is the center line of this so we have our part now so let's just draw our part and we would make this horizontal and don't mind what it looks like now we're just going to try to get that shape so draw something like this draw something like that and now what we want to do is another thing you need to notice is the whole length is 44 and it's saying from here to the middle of that part if you look this going to the middle is 22 and another one is 34 the whole length is 34 over here but the from the end to the middle is 17 so that's telling you that this part is symmetrical so what we want to do is you can click this point holding the hold the shift key click this point and you're still holding the shift key and click this center line and this symmetry option should come up and just click that so that makes this symmetrical and we can just add our dimension here and that dimension is 44 and if you look over here the dimension on the inside diameter which would be this if you click this line and dimension to the center line and it will it should give you the diameter if i move it over here radius if i move it here diameter and the diameter is 20 between 20 so this is a limit tolerance it's like the dimension can be anywhere from 23.72 to 23.80 so what i always do is i just always add both numbers together and divide it by two to give me some something in the middle sorry plus 23.80 divided by 2 so click OK so that will give you that so all we need to do from here is just keep adding our dimension the next one is this dimension and it's right here 50 so we're going to direction from that point to that point 50 and we keep going up from here to here they give us that dimension is 16 which is from this point from this point to this point is 16 so dimension that 16 and another dimension they gave us is um, the this is 10 the um, is 10 so we'll dimension from this to the center line um, 10 if you want you can do 5 just make sure you on this side but I always like just dimension to the dimensions that's given on the drawing and I'll move my uh, let me move my center line up so we have that and another thing we want to do is um, let me just move this over here so that's 10 and if you look the di the di diameter is 121 from the center line the diameter is 121 so we're going to click this to here um, down move it down over here is 121 and we have that and just move this up a little bit 
and the next diameter is 133 so we're going to move it diamond make sure if you dimension from a center line to the end it should give you the diameter that's what I've been doing so it's going to be 133 so we have this part and we're almost done with the basic part of it and this is 34 so again you can dimension from here to the center line 34 and our part is fully defined and all we need to do now is just mirror this side over so click on the mirror entity then select all this um, lines that you need to mirror about this line and click OK and there you go you have that part let me just verify to make sure all my dimensions are right um, yes yeah, so then what you're going to do is revolve it about this center line and click OK and there you go you have pretty much the first part of it and what we want to do is um, click on the front let me just make sure to see where my front is so the front is right here click on that front and sketch number two and bring it no well I'm bringing it over here so you can see so what you want to do is you, the circle is on the center line and the center line is 86 so just draw your center line over here add your dimension is 86 and click on it and make it a construction line then just draw a circle make sure the circle it doesn't really tell you where the circle is located but it doesn't matter you can put it anywhere on this part but we we'll just put it on this quadrant and over there somewhere over there and the diameter for that circle is um, right here 22 so make it 22 and now everything is fully defined feature extrude cut um, up to next and click OK and now all we need to do is just um, do the circular pattern so we'll go to circular pattern circular pattern and click this and for your perimeter you want to click the circular edge up there and number of they tell you over here is 3 um, 22 equally space so you want to make sure it's 360 degrees 3 equally space and the feature just select this face or you can click this drop down and select it here and once you have that click OK and you're pretty much done the only thing you need to do is just add your fillets and fillet the first fillet is um, right here it says the radius is 3 so we we'll change the radius size to the size the fillet size to 3 and the fillet is over here on this edge and on this edge or you can select this face um, the if you can see it inside edge this edge and I think I'm missing one over here this edge so click OK so we have that and the last thing we need to do is add the next fillet which is this the sex six fillet which is two if you think about it three fillet on this side three fillet on the other side so fillet um, change the size to two click this face and click that face and select OK and there you go that's how you make this part and um, if I go normal to and I section it I'm going to change the plane and as you can see you have your this feature and you have this part over here so that is how you make it thank you and hopefully I've, I've been able to explain it clearly and thank you I'll see you in the next tutorial bye